What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and I have another unboxing video for you. In this video, we're going to be unboxing the 2016 November Nerd Block Junior for Girls. I just finished doing the boys unboxing, and it was amazing. And I'm really excited because after staring at the shipping label, I was able to figure out which box was the men's medium and which box was the youth small. So I'm excited about that because I have the two other boxes for my god kids. And we're going to be able to be matchy buddies, which is amazing. If you're interested in getting this box, I'll go ahead and put all the pricing details in the description below for you. I just ran up the stairs and I'm tired. I need to exercise more. Once you pull the plastic off and you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. This box opened differently than the boys box, which is odd. All right, let's check it. Oh my gosh, my goddaughter is gonna freaking love this box. The first item that we have oh, is a Thai beanie baby of rarity, 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 um, and it's from My Little Pony. I just went to the arcade a couple days ago with my goddaughter and they had the claw machine and she wanted to win this giant My Little Pony plushie. This one's a lot smaller but I feel like she's still going to love this which is amazing. We didn't, we didn't win the claw machine. It was a claw machine that only had two things, like what is that about? Anyways, there you go. That's amazing. She's going to love that. The next item that we have is a pair of athletic socks. We got this in our boys box as well. This is kind of an, I mean it's a cool item to put in the girls box. These are way too big for my god kids so I'll have to find some other kids to give them to. This box we got number one. In the boys box I got number two. So that's cool. These are actually really nice socks. We got the same minion puzzle as we got in the boys box. 24 piece mini puzzle basically. Ooh, yes. We got the same apron, which is awesome because these are like the coolest things ever. Um, if you want to see the full apron, check out my boys video, but it's basically this. It says Jedi in training and it has Luke. The next item we have is a Disney Zoom Zoom calendar. Oh, this is very, very, very cool. Now that my god kids are a little older, they actually appreciate calendars a lot more. I used to always buy them a calendar just so that they would have one and then realize that they didn't really understand it, they just liked the pictures, but now, like, I know Jackson totally knows how to read a calendar, so that's very cool. And we got the same two comic book things, like the boys box, which is awesome because these are really, really, really cool. I was saying in my last video that the kids at my after school program absolutely love making their own comic books, which is amazing. It came with a little box of crayons as well, but that is really, really cool. I'm so glad that I got these in this box. Very nice. And then the last item before the shirts and all the like card stuff is our uh, National Geographic's Kids Magazine. Same one that we got in the boys box. It's a good little read for, for little kids. There's some um, science-y things in here. There's some animal-y things in here. So that is very, very nice. And then the last item we have is our shirts. <laughs> I got a Gildan Soft Style Men's Medium or Adult Medium. Actually, I got this, the fitted men's medium. Um, this is a sky blue colored shirt. This is such a, wait, let's look at the shirt first. I believe, is it My Littlest Pet Shop? Littlest Pet Shop? I don't know what that's called. Oh my gosh, this thing's a little bit creepy looking. Uh, so we have a, a Littlest Pet Shop thing. It looks like a, a pink person, like a pink girl that has an animal body is what that looks like. A little bit creepy, but still colorful. The reason I bought this box and I got it in a men's medium is because I also bought boxes for my god kids and I thought it'd be so cool that we could be matchy buddies. So for those of you who are parents, if for some reason you want to match with your child, you could just one month get two boxes, one adult size and one youth size and then you guys can have matching shirts. It is quite hard to find matching shirts in youth and adult sizes. I've looked, you can get them like ordered by yourself but then you're basically paying the same amount so I realized once I start doing shirts in this box it's brilliant just buy two boxes then I can keep half the stuff and I can give the other stuff to them and then we all have matching shirts so you know just throwing that idea out there for you guys if you want it alright let's go ahead and uh, before we do pricing a recap we'll just go through these cards next month there's gonna be an item from Star Wars Plants vs Zombies and My Little Pony and we have yet another edition of use my $10 credit off shirtpunch.com to get $10 off something that you want to choose to buy. <laughs> this is a first come first serve. Whoever uses this code first gets it. Um, and if you do use it, let me know what you bought. I think this also works on the Nerdblock Shop website I've heard. And there's it's not just shirts. There's like Funko Pops and whatnot. And 
We have another edition of Use My $10 Credit Off Shirt Nerd Block the slash the shop that they have now uh, to get ten dollars off something that you want to get that shop is actually really cool I've checked it out before they they sell a lot of um, a lot of items that you don't get in the boxes so it's actually pretty sweet um, so yeah definitely check that out first person to use it gets it and if you use it let me know what you got with it hopefully you can actually see those I can't tell all right let's go ahead and do some pricing and recap shall we we shall here's our card the first item that we got is our the Littlest Pet Shop t-shirt. I'm going to go ahead and give that $10. We got our tin puzzle. Um, I gave this $2. I feel like it's something you potentially might be able to get in the dollar section at Target, but I'm not sure. I've never seen it. It just seems like it. So I'm just going to give it $2. Our athletic socks, I'm going to go and give those $5. That's how much I usually give socks. Those are licensed as well. You know, I just realized in my other thing, I don't think I did the magazine. The magazine, I'm going to go ahead and give... It's $5. I'm going to go and give this $3. So if you guys watch my boys video, add $3 extra value, which is actually amazing because that makes it $15. Let's see if this one can um, match up. Our comic book selection, I'm going to give it $5 for the two comic book things and the crayons. These are really, really cool if you have kids. I'm telling you, it's really, really cool if you have kids. The My Little Pony Tie Beanie Baby, I'm going to go ahead and give this uh, $7 like I gave the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles things. Um, Beanie Babies or tie things are pretty expensive. I usually try not to buy them because they're so expensive. But kids are obsessed with, like, Beanie Boos and stuff. Um, calendar, $5. And then the Jedi uh, thing, I think I gave it $6 in the boys' box. So I'm going to stick with that and give it $6. I, I can't decide if it's licensed or not. All right, according to my price in this box, is worth $43. I paid $28 for it, which means I got $15 extra value on top of what I paid for. Which, the cool thing about this is that means that it basically, it's the same as the boys' box. Because I did my math wrong in the boys' box and I forgot to give the magazine stuff. $15 extra value for a two things. For a $30 box, I want $10 extra value. So I, I definitely hit that. The, the second thing is usually for a kids box, I just want to break even because kids boxes rarely get extra value on top of what you paid for. This this box got $15 extra value as did the boys. This box is awesome. I love this box. Now, I definitely think I prefer the boys box a little bit better. I just tend to like the types of like things that they tend to put in boys boxes a little bit better. But this was a really good box. I'm excited to put a lot of this stuff in my prize box. I'm excited that I got a box like exactly like this for Maddie. And I'm excited that I'm going to be able to be matchy buddies with her. Although this isn't my favorite shirt design. So for both the boxes, the shirts were okay. They weren't my favorite, but they were cool. But yeah, a really good mixture of items and really good value and it's it's very kid based. Like I actually like this box because it gives us really good kid items but they're a little bit bigger than what we normally get in most kid boxes and so I like that. It's almost like a legitimate sub box for kids. If you have kids, definitely look into this. Alright guys, oh if I had to rate this box, a 5 out of 5 noobs. I really enjoy this box. I can't wait to see if they can continue it. That's going to be the interesting thing because sometimes boxes will fall off the map after the first couple months. So it'll be interesting to get the December boxes and see if they can keep up the value and the types of items. I'm very excited to see though and yeah. It's, this is something that I'm totally down to like get boxes for my god kids too. Because it's good items that I know that they would love and I love them so. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. Come on. If you guys have kids, tell me this isn't a good box. This is a good box. It depends on what age kids you have, I guess. But I'm, I'm like envisioning my six-year-old god kids and I know that they would love everything in this box. I also can see a lot of kids at my work liking some of the other items. I would say that this box is probably geared more towards a little bit of the younger age. Um, I'm thinking like five to eight, but there are some items in here that definitely work for older kids. You know, it just depends on what your thoughts are. Kids are so different and like a six-year-old is going to be way different than a ten-year-old, so you just have to kind of go based off of the stuff that your kids like. You know, like if your ten-year-old likes younger kid items, that's how I was when I was a ten-year-old. Like, I liked anything. It didn't have to be like geared towards ten-year-olds. I would like little kid items. I still like little kid items. So it really just depends on your kid. But um, I think a majority, I would say that this box is definitely um, really good for anywhere from five to eight. Potentially nine. It depends on the nine-year-old. But 
Still a good box. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked to set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which I don't have because I'm still working on it. So just be on the lookout in future videos for that. Also, don't forget to enter my 2016 December giveaway, which is happening right now. Um, the video is on my channel. If you go to my channel and click videos and then scroll down and find the 2016 December giveaway video, watch it, follow the directions, enter the giveaway by Friday, December 30th at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, San Francisco time, my time, for your chance to win a one month subscription to a box of your choosing that can be sent to you. Some depends on where you live. Um, you could choose the Nerd Block Junior boxes, which are actually kind of good. So if you're a younger kid and you want these, then you know. Um, all right, guys, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!